prices took a huge jump overnight, so the average price for a gallon of regular unleaded gas in LA County is now 5.54. That's up eight and a half cents. In Orange County, it's 5.52, up nine cents from yesterday, and prices in the Inland Empire were nearly seven cents to 5.39. Some California, Southern California refineries have reported outages, which apparently is affecting the supply. Well, those prices may have more and more people looking to go electric. The battery powered alternative is expected to be a big part of our future. So that means the electrical grid will need an upgrade as okay. Orange County. Michelle uh, reporter Michelle Gilly is live in Irvine with a glimpse Michelle into the future. That's right. Part of the faculty housing here on the UCI campus has been outfitted with all kinds of smart grid technology, and there have been some very important findings as a result of this energy study for the future. Basically, this is the hardware that we that came with the the project. The gray equipment on the wall in UC Irvine Professor John Smith's garage is part of a campus energy study. Smith's neighborhood has been outfitted with everything from solar panels to electric cars, battery chargers and storage units to test the performance of the electrical grid, reduce energy costs and emissions. They were trying to look into the future and you know the future is that more and more of us are getting solar panels, um, more, more and more of us want to have some kind of storage and so they wanted to on a small scale see what would it be like? What, what, what will it be like if everybody has an electric vehicle? UCI teamed up with the Department of Energy and Southern in California Edison to install smart grid technologies in and around the homes on four streets where university faculty live. Technology you can see are some of the solar panels like you see on top of the roof over here. You see it on top of the roof over here and others along the way. The solar energy powers the homes and the excess power is stored in batteries. At night the battery is used to power the homes and electric cars. The study had some key findings. We must have energy storage if we are to make a highly renewable future work. The second is that um, we need to upgrade the electric infrastructure if we want 100% zero emission vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, an alternative to that is to use hydrogen and fuel cell technology. Professor Jack Brower says more hydrogen fueling stations would need to be built to avoid the necessity for a complete upgrade of the electric grid. In the future, people would drive both plug-in electric and hydrogen fuel cell cars, he says, to ensure that everyone has the power they need and not overburden the grid. And right now in Marietta, a new housing development is being built using smart grid technology, and the developer is using the findings from this UCI study to build hundreds of homes. That's the latest live on the UCI campus. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. Michelle, thank you.